Hello, everybody, and welcome to Quest for Creative, episode 14. And before I begin, I want to say this. If you are easily offended by fantasy violence and fantasy genocide, please stop watching this video right now because you will be offended and you will be insulted and, well, yeah, please. All right, in yesterday's episode, we built that thing right there. Woo, an automatic crafting machine that takes wood blocks, specifically oak wood, and turns them into carpenter's blocks, carpenter's wedge slopes, and carpenter's stairs. And I have played with it a little bit. I have, well, I played with it a little bit and fiddled with it, but uh, yeah, it... it <laughs> it didn't do what it should have done. Um, so, uh, yeah, you're just going to have to clean out the uh, liquid crafters every now and then to get that working. But that was more of a proof of concept than anything really for the series. It was just to show how the liquid crafters work and how to automatically craft things. So when slash if the Project Red Pipes get taken care of, uh, yeah, I'm going to have some fun with that. Today, we are going to do something interesting. At least I qualified as interesting. I have built this setup here, which is the same as that setup over there. We have our basic power generation here uh, with an infinite lava source for a Tinker's Construct smeltery, which is normal. Now, what are we going to do with this? I mean, we have a smeltery over there for regular ores. We have a smeltery over there for other ores that, you know, we're just doing infinitely, which is kind of going nuts. Yeah. Um, holy crap. I haven't gotten any aluminum brass or any bronze since. I don't know. Whatever. It works. I'm happy. Uh, so, uh, what could we possibly do be doing here? Well, today, we are going to try for infinite emeralds. Now, I have to admit right off the bat that this design isn't fully formed yet. It's not fully baked. Uh, I am having a slight problem. And I went over this problem... Yeah, right here. Uh, in yesterday's episode wait was that yesterday's episode yeah i went over that problem in yesterday's episode at the very beginning that's what caused the glitch over there it's because i can't pull out liquid material above other liquid material and i'll get to that here shortly um i just want to clean out my inventory a little bit i probably should have done this beforehand but you know 2020 hindsight that kind of thing Eh, close enough. All right, so today we need to make something oops, that I've got to concentrate while making because it's going to be slightly weird. Um, so let's see. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in theory, if I do this, we put down water, and it should just go to the right to the edge. Yes, perfect. Okay, so that's what I want. Now, we are going to use the basic spawner concepts. Oh, no, I don't want that. Do I want that? Um, yes, I do want that, don't I? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm a little confused right now. I'm trying to picture this in my head, and it's not working. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so... Um, that's not going to work, is it? No, that's not going to work. Crap! Uh, this needs to be one more further forward. and then like this because the water will stop here push things into there and then i'll actually throw that in there 
and then things will be pushed off that way, the villagers that we get. Um, all right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did this in practice, and it is fairly slow, but that's not really a problem. I mean, I never said this stuff would be fast. I just said it would be infinite. Hey, there we go. All right, so you go there. Boop. And then it combines with that one, and we get into there. I'm going to go quickly sleep so I don't have to worry about creepers. Oh, that is one thing I wanted to do. And since it's nighttime, let's just slam that out. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Speed. Avoid creepers. Here it is. Okay, so we got a... Gene, avoid creepers. I went, ran out uh, yesterday and spent, I don't know, a while searching for uh, uh, the cats. Um, oh, for the life of me, I can't remember their names. Oh, ocelots, those things. Uh, and I finally found them, and I grabbed one, and I brought it back here. And got a few skin samples. I didn't kill the cat because I would feel bad doing that. Though I didn't too feel too terribly bad when I killed the pig, but eh, whatever. Uh, I didn't kill the cat. I set it free because I... I've had too many of the pet cats in this game and it kind of caused problems. But anyways, in this syringe, supposedly, is the ability to repel creepers. Um, and I wanted to do this on camera... Because if it fails miserably, if it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, um, I figure it'll be far more entertaining when it blows up in my face if I do it on camera. All right, let's see. Where's a creeper? Where's a creeper? The one day I want to find a creeper, I can't find any creepers. I could have sworn I saw a creeper by that sheep. Ah, there we go. Okay, creeper. <laughs> Well, it seems to be working. I'm not repelling anything else, but the creeper's running the f away. Hi, Mr. Creeper. Whoa, hi. It's not blowing up. If I get close to you, will you blow up? Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> it's more of a threatening kind of thing, like a, a snake at this point. Snakes tend not to bother you as long as you don't bother them, and that appears to be what the creeper's doing. Wait, what? Did that hat say Chrono? Seriously, did that hat say Chrono? Um, I have no idea how to find these things. Are they in Pyro's top hat? Are they in alphabetical order? It's crown, computer, cap, clip-on. Uh, I might have to... Chrono. He has glasses and a tongue. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, whatever, whatever. Okay, so now, uh, apparently that works. Which is really cool, because I'm sick of blowing things up. Uh, I blew up this while I was working. I logged in, and uh, it was sunny out. It was like midday when I logged in. And I was working on the farm there. And it, the sun was just starting to set. Like, the sky was just changing color. So it was still pretty bright out. And all of a sudden, boom. No idea what actually hit me. It could have been a freaking meteorite, for all I know. But, uh, yeah. Apparently, a creeper exploded and tore out half the farm over here. So I'm sick and tired of that's a problem. Yeah, that's going to be, have to be something I have to fix. But I can fix that. Don't worry about that. Yeah, you saw a mob die in here. A, a, a zombie die in here. Did it do? No, it did not. But I have rotten flesh in there now. That's going to have to be something I have to worry about. Okay, so now we have this. Now we have a pathway that will take what we dump in here down this path. 
And then down this path, nice and slowly and easily. And then dump it unceremoniously into our smeltery. Yay. And then from here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out. Just like normal. Six, seven, seven. Yes, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, okay. So, um, yeah, so this is basic uh, uh, spawner design. Where we would design, where we would take a spawner, put it above all this, to lead everything into basically a death trap. Up, there we go. Ah, keep falling down. I'm not used to flying. <laughs> I've been doing it for so long. I'm still not used to it. All right, so I'm actually recording this episode fairly late. Um, my mom came over today, came over to visit. Oh, shite. <laughs> and, uh, we went out and did the birthday thing. Now we went out to, to Applebee's. She bought me dinner. You know, standard fare. Nothing too terribly impressive. But, uh, you know, that's just what you do. Um, but I didn't get to record yesterday. Oh, come on. Thank you. Because I was preparing for that. And uh, I didn't get to record earlier today. Ooh, not far enough out. I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, because... Oh, I see what I did. I see what I did. Okay. My bad. Let's... Block you off. Ugh. I knew I should have gone one more out so I knew where to build the freaking walls. But yeah, so I'm actually recording this. It's about 11.30 yesterday for you guys. Um, so yeah, now I'm behind schedule. Well, I'm, I'm caught up with the schedule, I should say. I'm not behind schedule. I was one day ahead for just such an occasion. In case I, I, I go off and have to do something else. So I'm not exactly... I'm not behind schedule. I'm just further be I'm closer to on time than I would like to be. Um, one thing I don't want to do is record the same day. I would rather avoid that. There we go. Okay. Now, if we have things in here, they will slide down here. Whee! Plop in here. And then they will go down the chute. Perfect. Now we need to make this thing large enough that nothing can jump out of it. Alrighty, and then what we need to do is put a bar right here. And you may be really, really confused as to why I'm doing that. I will explain. In a moment. But until I do, what I need is to go up a couple of levels, and then in a bit. About... Yeah, there will work. Tear you out. We'll go one short on each side, just for the fun of it. Just to look pretty. And we'll build a floating platform over top of this. I have to rip that out. And inside of that, we will build a wall 
too high. The whole way around, and I am out of smooth stone. First time I built that, I built it with cobblestone, and it looked ugly as sin. But of course, that's what happens when you build cobblestone. It doesn't look good, in general. Hi, spider. No, you definitely don't need to go there. You do, however, need to do this. All right, now, what I need is three villagers. At least three villagers. And, yep, here we are. So I have three villagers right here, and I have another two right here, but we'll get to them in a minute. Villager number one goes up top. Boop. Hello. Do you, are you the gun with the cool trade? Boop. Mm, you might be. Um, I think I have one of the villagers that's actually willing to sell me golden orberry bushes, which I might take advantage of. Alrighty. Boop. That's not you, though. He sells emeralds. That's cool. And then one more. Ah, it's you. Golden Orberry books for a bunch of landmines, which I have no idea how to make, and these jungle barricades, which just takes jungle wood, to, uh, one jungle wood on top of another jungle wood. That's easy to make. So, yeah, he sells golden orberries. I might be taking advantage of that. All right, now you might be asking... How is this supposed to do anything? Nothing's done. And the reason for that is I was stupid and didn't build any doors before I started this episode. I wasn't thinking. Uh, so I need to quit getting stuff in my inventory. I need to grab some wood, which I've got plenty of. Get a couple of wood planks. And make a bunch of doors. Oh, they stack. Since when do store doors stack? All right, and then we put the doors down right up against the wall. So like this. Which I think this will work just fine without a problem. If we do it this way. I need more doors. Uh, but we also close this in. And we make an infinite villager spawner. Uh, since this is 1.64.4, it runs on the old villager m rules. So we can abuse those rules. A few more doors. This should work. It worked in testing. We just need a whole bunch of doors to do it. Bloop. I think this is... I th yeah, I built this in test in the test world, and it worked. So I would assume it will work. They're looking at each other like they want to do something. But nothing's happening yet. Let's go grab the other two villagers and see if they help out. And if not, I might be doing a jump cut. Until they do do something, or I figure out what the crap is wrong. I'm not seeing any hearts or anything either. Did I make this too wide? I think I made it too wide. Hmm. Doesn't matter, and it'll work. Let us light up the area so we don't have to worry about mobs spawning. And I guess I have to wait until they actually do something. And hopefully they do do something. There we go. About time. 
Okay, so this is working now. Um, what I did was I made this one wider, thinking that it might need to be a little bit more space inside uh, because of how the house physics, I guess, in this game work. Um, got a little munchkin? No, we do not. I guess I gotta wait for a little munchkin to come out because <laughs> their cycles have to coincide so they can actually do that. It's kind of strange. Um, but basically what happened, or what it is, is the game looks on both sides of the door to see if there is like a, a certain amount of space that qualifies as inside. Now I covered the inside thing over there with the orberry bushes that the orberry bushes need to be inside to be planted. Uh, basically in a cave is what the original idea is. And I originally thought it was because of the light levels. Come on. Pop out a baby. Like I said, this works in the creative mode that I set it up in as a testing. But I really want it to work on camera. It's just their cycles need to sync up when their heart little hearts float up. Come on, you were like... There you go. Do it. Do it. Come on. Come on, you're right there. There we go, we got a little baby. Okay, so the little baby flows down here and quite agitatedly falls into the smeltery and magically falls to the floor. Ah, the liches. Okay, but as you notice, nothing's happening. He's just kind of there. He's not doing anything, nothing special is happening, nothing. What you gotta do you got to put something in the smeltery. And it doesn't have to be a lot. I'm going to use one bar, one gold bar. Throw you in there, and we'll wait until it cooks up. Which will take about a minute. I don't, I don't actually know how long these things take to cook. You are loud! But it's also noticeable, like, I could stand in here and nothing will happen. Because the smeltery is a strange, strange thing. That, uh, is a bit weird. And, uh, I guess I may as well just... Shut up! Spoil it for you guys. Um, I was gonna have the suspense drawn out and all that fun crap, but... Yeah, uh, these take too long to cook. That's why I created the smithy over there. It's because these things take too bloody long to cook. Uh... So basically what happens is they the smeltery doesn't do anything until something's molten inside of it. One would think the lava itself would be enough, but no. Come on, cook for me. Cook for me. There we go. And now we're noticing this guy's taking damage, and all of a sudden that turned green. And that is because we are now getting liquefied emeralds. We can see one gave us 0 .03 emeralds. 0 .03 emeralds. Really? This, this is slow. And I'm not kidding when I say it's slow. It's even slower than I thought that thing was going to be. However, if we hit F9, I can see that I'm spread across four chunks once again. I also created a villager in a jar situation. So I've got these guys showing up, but that's actually not that big of a problem for, where are they, this reason. So we got these punji sticks here. I love these punji sticks. They're so incredibly useful. Die, creeper. All right, so the zombies are sitting here. So we put the punji sticks there. Yeah, something like that. Hi, Creeper. You want to try something? No. No, you don't. Bastard. All right, we just wait for the zombies to show up. Takes a few minutes because these guys draw from really far away now. Come on, Mr. Zombie. 
Oh, now he's over here, so I have to think along those lines. Oh, now he went over there. And that's pretty much all we have to do. Is just put these punji sticks down, and it'll just kill the zombies that congregate. And they seem to be congregating here because that would be directly behind the bar that stops these guys from going through. So putting the punji sticks there is perfect. Because it'll just kill the zombies. <laughs> I love that. All right, and then what I'm going to do is do the same thing I did in the... Uh, not the last episode, but the episode before that, and go into my witchery chest and get our puppet shelves. And I'm going to put the puppet shelves in each of the four chunks that are here, and then we'll have this air, this entire area loaded. And in theory, these guys will keep doing their thing while I'm not logged in. And we have baby zombies. Huh. Baby zombies don't chase villagers. Interesting. That's really interesting. Oh, you're not chasing the villager either. Why aren't you chasing villagers? I thought I wasn't going to have a problem with zombies, but apparently I am. I'm just glad I don't have a problem with the creepers anymore. I'm sick and tired of them. Now I've just got to look where I'm going. See, you guys are going after the, zo the villagers. Why? I don't understand. Ow! Stupid skeleton. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Alrighty. So, now that that's done... Tss. Now that that's taken care of, do we have another villager yet? No, no extra baby villagers. Probably won't have baby villagers during the night, because they're trying to get inside. Oh, but I saw hearts. And uh, the villagers rotate on, I believe it's a four-minute cycle. So every four minutes they can breed. It's uh, I think it's the same with all of the breedable mobs in Minecraft, if I remember correctly from my tutorials on all that fun crap. Yeah, we haven't gotten another baby villager yet. But I figured they'd be trying to get inside, though they might think they're inside because they have a roof now. Since I widened this. They might think they're inside. I don't know. But I'm going to let this run overnight and see what happens. See if we get uh, any decent amounts of emeralds. And we'll go from there. Uh, the problem that comes up is the same problem that I described over here. Is that we always have to have something in the smeltery to do this. And I'm just using molten gold. Now the emerald, the liquefied emerald is sitting on top of the molten gold. So I wouldn't be able to draw that out. If I used that pipe there, it would give me the gold. If I click over to the liquefied emerald and use that pipe over there, it would give me the liquefied emerald. But then it would just be the gold on the bottom again. And all the new villagers that come in would put the emerald on top and it just wouldn't work so yes technically i'm getting liquid emerald out of this but i haven't quite figured out how to get it into the lockers of infinity yeah that that's a small problem i'm not 100 percent sure how to fix that problem so, I don't know. If anybody out there has any ideas, I'll be thrilled to hear them. I just can't quite figure that out. I don't know. Until then, I mean, we can always just grab them manually. And that's, I mean, that's fine. Just make sure to check on them every now and then. <laughs> or or else someday we'll come here and here have a stack of emerald juice up to here. That would be hilarious. That would take a very, very long time, though, at the rate these guys are going. 
And I don't think adding more villagers would help because, I mean, they're getting jumbled up in there right now. It's kind of hard for them to move around and get close to each other. So if you got like eight or nine freaking villagers in here, you have this villager over here it has its hearts and this villager over here has its hearts, but they can't get closer together. Um, I think four might be too many, possibly. But uh, I left them in there like that just as a test. I used six in the creative world and it seemed to work out well. I don't know. I guess I'll see. Like I said, I'll just leave this running overnight and see how that comes out tomorrow. But until then, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Please like, favorite, subscribe, comment this video. Um, and if somebody could please explain to me why these autonomous activators don't fill up uh, the item ducts don't fill up. These ore bear, these essence berries just magically disappear because this locker's full. I would be thrilled to hear that. I don't know why they do that. They just disappear. I figured they would stop in the autonomous activators and they just fill up the autonomous activators, but no, no, they just vanish. Nothingness. Ugh. Anyways, anyways, yes, I'm going to end the episode here before I ramble on any further. Uh, so I will see you guys in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game, and apparently be as violent as possible. <laughs>